but any any team, no matter what, would want to pr play as good as they possibly can, even if it means um, you know that they have no chance of going through. You still want to win every single match you can, uh, and every single player also wants to prove on like the big stage that they're good. Um, maybe it'll help them get signed for a team, or maybe it'll help them um, with their careers overall. Maybe they'll get more of a followership. If they do really, really well, people will follow them on Twitter and they'll get more fans. So every single player has a lot kind of going for him. Even though this match might not actually change anything in terms of who qualifies, it will change um, other things. And that was the knife round ended. Singapore actually won. They'll be starting off on the CT side. Um, better look for them. I mean, starting off on the T side of Inferno against a stronger team is not always the best scenario you want to be in. But now that they're starting off um, on the CT side, gives them a bit more of a chance, I guess bit more of a chance against the Japanese who are coming into this as the uh, as, as the favorite if you want to call it that so um, yeah I mean, the thing is Singapore did not play bad it was just Vietnam was so much better I mean Vietnam was so solid on the CT side there wasn't much that uh, that they could really do about it so uh, here we have it it's the start of this final best of one of group B and of this afternoon here on eFrank TV. I hope you have had a wonderful broadcast so far and that you continue to do so with us on eFrank TV. Remember, you can follow us on all the different social medias and you can also follow me at DR Avela if you want to get more info about myself. Three man stack here from the Singaporeans as Japan goes straight for mid control. There's the window smoke. Moxie's going to be smoked off, forced to switch positions any moment now and they will be moving towards short, perhaps. I mean, the bombs at mid, they've got one person at T-Ramp. They're just looking for entries. Imogen's actually boosted on top here. I don't know. He must have used some crazy ninja skills. He, I, th I think somebody boosted him up to that position, but either way, he's in a very, very nice spot. Singapore are really on the defensive now. Very, very passive. No map control, no information. So the next move is Japan's to make. And whatever move they make, it'll be very difficult for Singapore to do much. Look at that. So one CT boosted up on top. Kunis actually sees them from connector. Nopper's going to be pushing forward at the same time. And the bomb's rotating towards A site. That's good. They've kind of pretty much faked going to B. And they've forced a bit of a rotation from the CT players. Nopper trying to find an entry here. Kunis in the site. He'll try and take him out, but no bullets will land. There's a flash over a short. There's Impression as well. Akioni survives, actually. Could have been shot down by Impression, who was completely flashed by that very, very well-timed flash. Impalement pushing towards CT spawn. Gets the first frag. Looks for Alex. Lands a headshot beautifully. And that's Singapore down to two players. Japan now. Easy peasy for them as they pick up the pistol here. Unless Impression can come up with a miracle. But he only gets two kills before going down. So... Three players surviving that round. And we saw Impression against Vietnam getting some nice frags. And it was one of the reasons, or the only reason, that they picked up uh, that round against them. But uh, either way... You can't disagree that uh, Impression has been the standout player for Singapore. You have a false spy here from the Singaporean side. Small nation... And definite underdog in this group. They've done a good job at least drawing against South Korea. Showing that they've got a decent level. They've got something to offer. And maybe this match will prove more. We will see. It's still early days yet. And Japan, they need to be careful. They've got two players on really low health. And it's just impression of the scout. Knowing that these are mid, they should move towards the B site. Immediately smoke off market. But instead, Akioni's just going to waste all of his utility trying to find Impression. He's already moved out of position. He's thought the same way we have. Went to the B site, thinking that they're going to move towards the B site. But Akioni will find him. He wasn't able to land any shots. And Japan will win that second round. And we do have an eco from Singapore. So it should be three rounds for Japan. We have to wait until the first buy round to try and garner or guess if the uh, Singaporeans have it in them to pick up any rounds against the Japanese here on the CT side. We do have a nice four-man stack over at the B site. That's a good idea. Always nice to see these kind of stacks on eco rounds. And it's also a, an opportunity for us to learn a lot about 
Asian CS in these matches, seeing what does, you know, is, is there, you know, Japan on paper should win, but is Singapore Japan's kryptonite, for example? Does Singapore know how to play against Japan? Or is there some kind of mental reason that the Japanese can't beat the Singaporeans? We will see that. And also maybe we'll see a storyline develop between the two nations. There's always a lot more to a match than just winning prize money or qualifying to tournaments. There's always a historic background, there's always a, a national background. And yeah, the Palement still playing instead of Shaoshi for Japan. Singapore on this Eker are unable to have been able to pick up a Mac 10 on him on uh, from Himeyun, sorry, on Moxie. Impression still looking for Franks here with his P250 splash. Wasn't able to afford to splash any more money this round. It was an eco. Right now, Singapore just hoping to get some exit frags and maybe pick up a weapon or two for the next round. So if they can afford an open, some good utility. Since they did force pipe, unless they save some weapons, they won't be able to do that. Pressure firing away, gets impa impalement, sorry, but Noppo will get the return almost immediately. And that's 3-0 Japan. Full buy now coming in from Singapore. Armors and rifles. We won't actually see a lot of head armor due to the fact AK-47s are a one-shot, or one-headshot um, kill anyway. No, th that is not a good pun. That was a... That was a weak punt, as Oscar M has mentioned. Andrew Mohawk doesn't understand. You don't understand the nonsense. It may be nonsense to you, but it's so much sense to a lot of CS fans. It's the whole... whole it's why CS is fun to watch. Because of the storylines. Because of the struggles, the player emotion, the player character. It's a good start for the terrorists. They've got in a trade. Moxie finds Akioni here in connector. CTs have the man advantage. Bombs moving towards the B site. However, Noppo tries to flash himself through. And he's just putting on pressure on the CTs as the terrorists will be rotating towards the B site. There's only one person there. They have to move fast, though, the Japanese. But they don't want to give away their position too early so that we get a quick rotation from the CTs. Instead, they're going to take it nice and slow. I think the CTs are now aware of this. They've got Moxie at mid getting information. He's probably going to go through B-holes from behind, so he might be a very important factor for Singapore. Nico sees them coming. Nice flash by him. He's going to try and renew the flash as well, and he's probably better off just aiming at him. He would have got a kill. There's Zodiac's dropped, and he's going to get an entry as well. Huge mistake by Nico going for the double flash, and there's a bullet landed on Zodiac's head. Down to 15 health. Moxie, though, coming up from behind. As I mentioned earlier, he might be the difference, but he misses his shots completely. The bomb should finish off him. Here. No, he doesn't. He's still alive, and he's still firing away. Finally, Moxie takes him down. Bombs planted. Three versus two retake now from the Singaporeans. Not with an entry. Kunis takes down Noppo. Boxo Moxie, sorry, will finish off the job for Zodiacs. And uh, Japan will pick up no more rounds as Singapore will make it 3 to 1. So nicely done there with the retake. And uh, it was all about having that one man advantage and just making sure they make the trades as they go for the B site. I mean, Nico almost threw it away, really, with that double flash. And I think he perhaps thought they were further away. And perhaps he thought that they kind of looked away from the first flash. It was just a miss. It was a, it was a bad measurement, really. And I keep... You know what? The thing with Moxie, I keep thinking Moxie's a girl because there's a, there's a streamer called Moxie. And so I'm thinking Moxie... I keep, I, I keep reminding myself, Moxie's a male. Don't say she. Don't say she. Don't embarrass Moxie. A execute. After losing a player on mid, so good timing for it. Alex is going to be using the smoke. Moving on to the side, he'll pick up two kills. Kunas helps him out as well. He's down though. And it's just Akion in his own. In a one versus four. He's got impression firing away through the smoke from behind. Kunas with his double kill. And Singapore will pick up yet another round. So there is hope here for the Singaporeans. As Japan, well, they've won the pistol in the two rounds after that. But other than that, Singapore have been in control. And we do see an eco from the Japan side. Has anyone changed their mind yet 
I mean, it's early days, you can't really say. But maybe some of you have more hope for Singapore. But remember, it is a T-sided map. A CT-sided map, it's not T-sided. Wow, what is wrong? <coughs> CT-sided map. It's opposite day today, everything is opposite. Wow, that nade by Moxie. Good night, Noppo. Uh, he only has picked up an AK-47 for his troubles by taking down Impression. And he's just pushing forward. Mox is completely unaware. Nobody's checking connector. That's a huge miscommunication from the CTs. Kunas now has to pick it up. He drops the AK-47, but the damage has been dealt already on this echoing round. And Japan have picked themselves an AWP as well. Impalement taking down Alex. And he's the AWP for the Japanese side after replacing Shaoshi. But Kunas, no mistakes and no prisoners taken either. They'll secure the round. But three players dropped on an anti-eco. It's very, very good for Japan because it really hurts the uh, Singaporean economy and puts them in danger of um, a double eco or, or, or of an eco if they lose a round. But like the money, like, like it is now, they've got three players with good money, it's not much of an issue. Kunas with a nice mint flash, maybe flashing his teammate in for a peek, but I think he actually flashed Moxie as well, who had to back away after trying to go for a early peek. There's an exchange of frags. Zodiac's getting one. Nico takes down Akioni. And mid control is pretty much established here for the Japanese, but there's the entry from Nuppo taking down Impression, and it's not the same Impression we saw on Inferno or on the pistol round. Sorry, on the pistol round of this game. Instead, he's starting to die pretty early on every single round. He has to hold his angle. Nice play there by Alex to take down Zodiacs at mid. And the bomb's rotating towards the A site, which is completely open. Moxie very passive here, waiting for that aggression from the terrorists. Sometimes you do CTs just clear up CT spawn. It's just going to be a CT smoke. Not a good one, though. Gives Moxie an angle. Moxie finds the shot as well. Noppo's down. And they do have the man advantage, Singapore, as they now play to go to the A site. Bomb's not being planted. Alex takes down Himian. Impalement. Doesn't have enough time to get a bomb plant. And Singapore will pick up that round. Four to three. Four rounds in a row for Singapore. Nice play by them. And it's a nice retake as well. Even after losing two players at the beginning. But we're really seeing the uh, play or the improvement on Kunas and Moxie. Seven kills. Six kills. They're doing a bit better than they did against Vietnam. At the same time, I think Japan kind of gave away that round with a bad CT smoke. Moxie is spamming through the smoke. Whew. That's a millimeter away from Zodiacs, but mid control will be established by the Ecos. By the Ecoing Japanese. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me today. By the Ecoing Japanese. And Noppo is going to be boosting himself up. Zodiacs finds himself in the ladder room as well. The nice positions here by the Japanese players. Moxie nice and passive will take out Noppo. And it should be a good bit of information for the CTs as well. We've just completely given away connector. But they've got Impression coming up from behind. Impression's here to pick up the frags. He takes down Himayun. And that's actually the bomb down as well. Nico picks up a frag. Angus a second on Zodiacs, who trying to pop down with that Tech 9. Alex will find Impalement. And that's an easy anti-eco. Impalement picking up one frag for the end of that round, but not really doing much. Five to three. As Singamore, Singapore continue. Singamore, that's also a nice, that's a nice name. <coughs> you have a pause though. I think we have a disconnect from the Singapore inside, yep. All right, play the game. Who do you guys think just disconnected? <laughs> Let's see if you guys are observing. It's the EFRAG TV game. Mm. I know who it is. He died a round ago. He was the only person who died in the last round. Somebody said Nico. It's not Nico. Kunas. There you go. Everyone knows. Everybody knows. Nah, you guys are on point, really. You guys are on point. You guys are focused. I can't. I can't catch you guys out. I really can't catch you guys out. <laughs> Everyone just showing off now. Okay, the first couple of guys knew it. The next couple of guys are just copying. I know you guys are just copying each other. 
I'm from the UK, but originally I'm Libyan. Or I've, I'm Libyan and I've lived all my life in the UK. Whatever, whatever rocks your boat. All right. Freeze time has been cancelled, so we're about to restart the match. As you can see, Japan do have an op on Himeyan now, as well as the CTs, who have had an op on, on Moxie for a couple of rounds now. Have to pick it up those first two rounds, but Singapore looking pretty solid now. Five rounds in a row. It is a CT-sided map, but we do have a close game. It seems we do have a close game now. Wow. Nicely done by him, and Moxie going for the shot through the smoke and that just gave away his position and allowed Himian to pick up an easy frag. Already there's a map there's a round advantage. oh there's a person advantage. <coughs> <coughs> for the Japanese, but Kunas returns the favor, picks up a frag, throws down a flash as well. Zodiac completely flashes, tries to push forward. Kunas playing this ladder area absolutely perfectly. He's got support from Nico, takes down Noppo, and he's gonna switch positions. Japan do not know how to deal with this Singaporean. He's an absolute warrior here on the A site, and he's pretty much single-handedly stopped them from moving in towards the A site. Four frags for Mr. Kunas. Nico stealing that ace away from him. But Singapore will pick up yet another round. And even though they got the entry, that A execute did not work out. They did not throw down the right utility. I mean, they didn't even throw smokes, but you have to flash those near angles. Or at least have somebody enter who can get the entry frag. But very, very nicely done by Kunas, who actually had an AK. He switched it to an M4 again. Or did he have an M4? I've got short term uh, memory loss. Excellent. Kunas left to toggle on. <laughs> um, e Super, Fraternitas, and that's it. I think those are the two two teams I remember that the Czech team had. Wow, Akioni and Noppo finding themselves in sandwich without Kunas realizing. I think realizing. I think he was completely flashed again. Moxie as well, not checking the right angle. Himian gets an easy entry, and all of a sudden they're down two men. The CTs. Himian's going to flash himself forward. There's one person in jungle. He's going to find him as well. Impression completely flashed, and the double up setup here for the Singaporeans being absolutely useless. Alex is still alive though. He picks up a double. Nico's there in support, coming in from connected. There's one person in window. Is he going to be able to take him out though? He jumps down, and Akioni is down, and all of a sudden Nico and Alex with a wonderful double team taking down the whole. Japanese side and getting a defuse as well. Beautifully done there by Singapore, and that's another round. So they're holding on no matter what, even if they lose three players in quick succession. Two versus five, easy peasy for Nico and Alex. Beautifully done over at CT, and that's why you need to have a, a very good CT smoke. And again, Japan missing the CT smoke and uh, allowing the Singaporeans to, to retake. Very nicely done. And they're showing that they have skill, that they've got experience, that they've got understanding of the game. Japan right now on three points after losing against Vietnam and beating South Korea. But right now they're being tested here by Singapore who are showing a different side of them. A side that we did not see against Vietnam and we did not see against South Korea either. This was not the CT side we saw against South Korea. Singapore could have probably even got three points from that engagement had they played like this or had they played as solid. Moxie landing amazing shots. Kunas playing great. Same with Alex and Nico as well with that two versus five. Alex now on his own in the ladder room. They try to push him. He picks up a frag. Actually, Noppo killing his teammate. He's not going to like that. Hurt his bank a bit. And look at this impression at T-Spawn pushing all the way up. Moxie takes down Noppo as they try to push Connector. And this is nice by the Singaporeans due to the fact that they are switching up their position so much on the CT side. It's really, really nice and refreshing. Putting the op in different positions, sometimes in mid, sometimes in CT. Having the players rotate around, go for those flanks as well. Kunas will finish off Himeyun. Akioni now remaining. And Alex is not even going to give him a chance. There you have it. Singapore with yet another round. 8-3. to three. They're looking solid here on the CT half. Starts it off with a frag on Zodiac. It's an eco here from the 
terrorist side here, even though picking up a scout this round, maybe to uh, equalize the money, maybe he's fancying his luck, but yeah, it's fine, he could afford it, he's only on 2.2k. It's pretty good compared to the rest of his teammates. He's still alive and he's picking up frags here, hurting the economy, but Moxie through the box. And Moxie's AWP has really been on point now. There is a ping difference, there's no doubt about it. It's about an average of 30 to 50. Impression's got nine ping, he's literally playing online at the moment. But, um, I mean, of course it has an effect, but I don't think it's that much of an effect. Right now, Singapore just really look on point. I think Japan have... They didn't perhaps did not expect them to be this good, and they're, they're having trouble getting those entry frags. The thing is, Japan do have quite a bit of firepower behind them, especially with Impalement, the new addition, instead of Shaoshi. He had a very nice match against the South Koreans, and now that he's got an AWP in his hand, he gets an entry on Moxie. Actually, that was Himeyun, sorry, getting an entry on Moxie. Impression. Pretty nice and aggressive here. But they always check this corner. I, I never see it really working out. He's actually going to continue pushing forward, and he'll pick up a frag on Noppo as well. Zodiacs now, and another impression. Wow. Two frags for impression, but Japan almost immediately will return with two, and now it's just Nico and Alex. The dastardly duo, who won that two versus five, are here for more. Great flash, they're pushing forward. Alex comes in from the side, he picks up a frag. Nico goes down to Impalement, and now it's one versus one. Impalement only on nine health, he has to be careful here. Needs to land the headshot on Alex almost immediately. He pushes forward with the USP, and he'll make short work of him. No impaling happening here, as Singapore will pick up another round, 10 to three. And the dastardly duo, Alex and Nico, will be successful once more, even when odds are against them. Born too late to explore the Earth. Born too soon to explore the galaxy. Born just in time to browse dank memes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. There's the window smoke. And the thing is, Japan are getting really close. They're getting the entry frags in a couple of these rounds, but they're not finishing it off. I believe the server is in Hong Kong, not in Singapore. But there could be a Singaporean server if the Hong Kong server is not working. Nico, nice aggressive push here in halls, but Imogen's going to find him. You need to land your shots in those kind of situations. There's Kunas taking down Akioni. And this time around, it's the opposite Japan on the back burner in the late game. And Alex just so confident, spraying and running, taking down Himogen. He missed his shots and it's just Noppo on his own. Mr. Noppo will be the final casualty of that round. 11 to 3, Singapore looking very solid. It's the final round of this half. We've got a full buy from the Japanese. They want to try and get four rounds, but the way it looks, Singapore might finish this 12 to 3. Here it is, just showing the pings for the people who want to ask. There is definitely a ping difference, but here we see controlled aggression once more from the Singaporeans. Impression running through that Molosov. I don't know if that was a really good idea by him, but he's down to 60 health, and he's going to be able to try and attempt a flank. Alex will start it off with a frag over a mid. Akioni though, gets the return over towards Sean, and he's going to be pushing forward, flashes himself through. Kunis just going to fire through the... Smoke there, but as he does that, he's going to get completely flashed. Akioni on top of the stairs, but Kunas has readjusted his aim and is going to make short work of him. And there's Impression pushing forward from the flank. He only gets one frag for his troubles, though. Nico takes down Noppo, and it's just Zodiacs in a 1 versus 3. It seems like Singapore have done what we did not expect them to do. And they have played a very dominating CT side of Mirage. Really, really nicely done by them. And it's good. They have created more competition in this qualifier, and they have more crea they've created more competition in the Asian scene overall, but really, really nicely done. And the thing is, I think the odds on esportgaming.com were like 82%, and I was thinking, you know what, if I was a better, I was going to bet on Singapore. Really, honestly, honestly, I would bet on Singapore, because you don't know. You really do not know. And right now, if you're betting on Singapore, you're going to make so much money. You're going to be rich. Dollar, dollar signs. Hose and drugs and everything. <laughs> Pest around of the second half. An interesting setup here by the T's. I think they're going to go for mid control before they do anything. 
They've not dropped, they've not left the bomb behind. Usually when they do this, they leave the bomb behind. They're kind of confident that. Look, there's an interesting smoke. I think it's a miss smoke because it's just right in the middle of nowhere. Impalement will start off the job here for Japan. And there are three frags already. The Japanese saying, you know what? You've picked up a lot of CT rounds, but we can do the same. Easy peasy for Japan here on the pistol round. If you're going to make dollar dollar signs, give me some dollar dollar signs in the chat. Right, give me some dollar dollar signs. If you have bet on Singapore and you're thinking, yeah, bro, gonna make me some money, then put some dollar dollar signs. Japan, though, with a very, very solid pistol round against the Singaporeans, looking incredibly good, landing those shots. And at the same time, is not really an effective way to play, bearing in mind that your Glocks against USPs, mm, trying to do 1v1 duels at mid, not the best thought, not the best... Uh, yeah, it, it, I don't think it's the best thing to do, so... There we go. Singapore now with an A execute. It's a force buy by them, and they get the entry frag, but Zodiacs returns. Oh, just one for Zodiacs. This is really good here for Singapore. Impression, killing Moxie. We have a state execution for Singapore. And there's the retake by Akion in Impalement, but I think Impression's not going to be happy. Well, actually, no, Moxie's not going to be happy about being killed by the endgame leader. But he probably like, all right, run to CT spawn. No, I don't want to do that. Bam, dead. <laughs> Listen to my commands. Scary force bite. Akioni and Impalement, the only guys uh, surviving, and the bomb was planted as well. So Singapore can be very happy about that round. Almost. Is the comeback real? Well, if Japan continue with this momentum, then of course there is a possibility. There's a CT-sided map. And it's a nice nice kind of refreshing change to see good CT play because recently in the Asian qualifiers, the teams have been playing better T-sides than they have CT-sides. Control here, they're pushing towards connector. Ooh, Zodiacs wasn't ready for that. They line up for him. He picks up two. Kunas finally takes him out. But they should have done a better job, Singaporeans. I mean, Zodiacs, he made a huge mistake. Tried to readjust his aim and they just lined up in front of him. And that's just, you know, sometimes when you don't really play with each other so much, you make those kind of mistakes. I mean, they're very simple mistakes that you do subconsciously, but standing up right in one line of fire in front of an M4, it's not the best idea. People are saying the, the stream RIP'd. Can you take a look, Mr. Producer? Is it fine? Oh, you just you just switched you switched to my camera. So people just, just saw like a flash and like a subconscious flash. Like some some subliminal messaging. Just flash my face and then be like, hey, I really I really like Avela. <laughs> Do some subliminal messaging, man. Do it. Oh, the stream is back. Okay, very sorry about that. Sh refresh, guys. If, if tell people to refresh. Anyway, Japan's still in control. Full buy now by the terrorists. This is the real test for the Japanese. Can they hold on? Can the Samurais contend with the Singaporean terrorist side? And the answer is, yes, they can. Noppo and Himiyun picking up a frag each. It's three versus three. There's the nade coming in from Noppo as well. He sprays through, ooh, but runs out of bullets. And Moxie is very lucky indeed that he only had a couple of bullets left in that for Mas. Kunis has got a good position here over at Tetris to take down Noppo. It's two versus three. Akioni and Humiyun playing for the retake. Singapore can see the victory. And that's a wonderful retake, Himiyun and Akioni. What a Molotov by Himiyun. Takes down Impression. Kunis goes down as well as he sprays him down. And Akioni helps out with the final frag. There you have it. Z Japan with a wonderful retake. And they show, yes, even with Singapore getting five AK-47s in utility, we can still hold the sights. We can still play for the retakes. And we have a chance. They're only five rounds away now. And after a really dominating CT half, Singapore, they need to bring some tricks out of the bag. Origato. What? Oh. Are you do are you giving them subliminal messages? Oh yeah. Finds Alex. Alex is trying to play with him, but you don't play with him, Ian. You do not play with a Japanese author. With an impression the in-game leader for Singapore. 
making the trade almost immediately. But again, a stroke of luck is he survives with two health. Nico looking for the entry frag here. There's Akioni right on the other side of the AK-47. They're going to spray through the smoke, but they're both going to survive that encounter. Himayun sees one person pushing in from underpass, and all the terrorists going to make their move. No, they're going to take it easy. Bomb moving back. Impression. Deciding to go for an A execute, and Kunas will look for the entry. Nico's going to be boosted up on top. Nice smoke there. Looking for the entries. Wow. Double nade over up top. And Noppo's going to go down. Moxie with the entry on connector. And this is a very well coordinated attack. Japan, where are you? Singapore now in the A site. And it's just Akioni on his own over at the B site. And I think he's going to try and save his M4. Doesn't think it's likely that he'll be able to win a 1 versus 4 with 8 health. And maybe even unlikely that he'll save the M4. What a nice mid-round uh, mid call by Impression. I mean, they've made the trade and they lost Alex. Don't have a lot of map control. They made the good choice to go for the A split. It, it was just perfect. Japan were not ready for it. And they really coordinate, coordinate that, coordinated that. They, they did it really, really well. It was nice pushing from connect and T-Ramp at the same time. The CT saw them coming from T-Ramp. He didn't have time to check left. One person went down. The guy from connector switched to T-Ramp. And then the player from connector, Moxie, pushed up and was able to get the entry. So it was really nicely done. And Japan now, they saved one weapon. They're going to actually force it up. One UMP. Impalement will have a FAMAS and so will Himayun. They're trying to hold on now. They don't want to give away any more rounds to Singapore. Already up on 13. Zodiac starts it off though. Left rank on impression. Mid control is for the terrorists once more. Akioni jumping up and down. Getting information. Look at that. Noppo boosted up on top. Sorry, not Noppo, but Nico. Boost it up on top to the window area. And no, Zodiac, sorry, has to be careful. He's going to be attacked from behind. Oh, what's going, here, going on here? That pop flash must have not landed, or he must have been too confident about that pop flash because he went in back first to connect it. And uh, Zodiac is like, well, thank you very much for that gift. But there's the return almost immediately from Moxie, and the bomb's going to go down. Huge mistake here from the Singaporeans. They've given away the bomb. They've taken too long to move in towards the A side, and even though they've got control of it, they've not got the bomb now. So Akioni. And Impalement will finish off the job as they'll make it 13 to 8. And a very good force by from the Japanese will keep them in the game. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Good play. But probably mostly some small mistakes from uh, Singapore. Alex lining up for a smoke. Going to be an A execute here from the echoing terrorist. Impression actually able to afford some armor as well. They'll probably be leading the way with that Tech 9 Zodiac over at Ladder. Gets flashed. We saw earlier on the CT side how well Kunas was playing that position. Will Zodiac be able to do as good of a job? He won't. He goes down to Impression's Tech 9. Another frag. Knop up. Takes down Alex. No problem. Only one casualty Zodiacs, but flawless round other than that for Japan. And they'll pick up another round. Again, only four rounds away from Singapore. They're trailing. They're at their heels. They're there for the comeback. They do not want to give away this game. They do not want to come out of this tournament knowing that they've lost to everyone except South Korea. The Samurais are hungry right now. And Singapore already very happy with their CT side maybe getting a bit complacent. That could be what's going on here. Maybe overconfident, but if Singapore do win this, it's a great statement for Sim Singaporean CS. It's a... Uh, it's a message to all Asian teams. We are good. We have the skills. We have the experience. We can contend with the rest of Asia. Japan might have something else about that. They might be here to cement... Uh,
status as one of the best teams in Asia as well. But Nico and Impression are going to get two entries. They've already lost three of their players. It's two versus five pretty much. And Nico's going to get a frag. Nico with two. Impression. He knows Zodiacs is at the stairs. And this is absolutely unbelievable. Singapore in a two versus five. Nico and Impression. Not the dastardly duo, but almost. It was Nico and Alex, but this time it's Nico and Impression. And I think the... Um, the same factor is is Nico. Nico has been this, the, the 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 same member of both. Just a quick reminder: we've got a sub giveaway at the end of this broadcast. If you'd like to take part in that, do subscribe. It's pretty much free. You get five euros off. Fourteen to nine. Singapore now only two rounds away. They're very, very hungry. Himayun, he'll pick up one nice spray down as he takes down Alex as well. He's got support from Noppo, but he goes down. Impalement actually going down at Connector, not Noppo. He's still alive at CT spawn now. It's a two versus two. Not a lot of health left. Nico goes down to Noppo, who consistently has been playing very well this game. And Japan still in it. Can Nico turn this into a 4K? What a fantastic player this afternoon. He's had a very, very good game against Japan. A lot of incredible rounds for him and impression, impression and Alex. Noppo is just staying passive. Looks like he's like AFK at CT spawn, but that crouch is going to show that there are vital signs left. Nico. Does a good job back away. Noppo's going to go straight. I mean, the thing is, Nico's planted it not for a good position. He planted it for Palace, not for T-Ramp. So, Noppo can actually go for the defuse here. Nico's going to find him. 15 to 9. Noppo knew that he had no more time. And Nico will take that 4K. Unbelievable. Singapore actually on their way to winning this best of one against Japan. And what an interesting way to end Group B of the Asian qualifiers. But a strong statement from the Singaporeans. Japan with a lot to learn now. Go back to the drawing boards. Maybe they didn't want this game. Maybe they're sad that they're not able to qualify. Since Singapore lost to Vietnam 16-1. to Or maybe they underestimated the Singaporeans after seeing them get demolished by Vietnam. But on every single piece of logic tells you that Japan... Should have been the strongest side. But Nico has been fantastic. Really, really fantastic. I think he plays for no use talking with impression. And he's going to pick up a second frag with the AK-47. All of his enemies in Palement with a great pop flash. And there's a return from Impression. Two versus four. But it's the dangerous duo again. Nico and Impression. However, Zodiacs playing a bit better this round. Picking up a triple kill. And that's a very good force spy from Japan. 15 to 10. They've got five more rounds to secure a draw. But we saw Singapore in pretty much exactly the same situation. Except they were on the T side against South Korea. It was 15 to 11, if I remember correctly, or 15 to 12, maybe even 15 to 10, but they came back and got a draw against South Korea. So Japan are very capable of doing this, especially since they're on the stronger side. Could be a draw. A draw would still be great for Singapore and Singaporean CS. And for Japan, it might save face a bit. But it is an anti-eco, so Japan should be picking this up. Nice nade. Does a lot of damage on these unarmored terrorists. The palements that short to support Akioni. He'll pick up a nice triple. Or a double, sorry, actually. That was uh, some, somehow. Zodiac's picking up a frag. Uh, it's 15 to 11 regardless, and I think Singapore are going for a double eco here. It's very interesting. They could have gone for a false f for a full buy. It would have it would have meant not the right utility. They wouldn't have had the best utility, but they could have gone for a full buy. They would have had AK-47s and armor. They're deciding to eco up, and that'll make it 15 to 12. So giving Japan an opportunity to draw. 
And a lot of people now begging for a draw. A lot of betters are like, please, Lord Gaben, make this game a draw. Change the rules of physics in CSGO and make this a draw. Make bullets miss. Make people die for unknown reasons. Singapore with a bomb plant on the B site. Excellent work on this eco round. Himian coming up from behind with the CZ. There's Nico. He's going to take him out, but not before he's down to one health. An impression with the AK-47 will take down Impalement. This is a very good eco indeed. They have to time it properly here. Impression finds yet another frag. Finds Himian. Impression looking for the ace. It's a 4K for Impression, but Nappa finds him. Nappa with the M4. He has to do it if Japan want to have a draw. Impression. Oh my goodness. He was two health away from an ace. What a fantastic player, the in-game leader for Singapore. The defuse will happen and Japan will be 15 to 12. Oh, somebody stopped time. Somebody stopped time. <laughs> somebody used their superpowers again and literally stopped time now. It's a defuse for Japan. 15 to 12. Go TV being a bit buggy. But uh, let's take a replay of that. I mean, amazing, really amazing play by um, the Singaporeans. And so there's a wrong <laughs> that was a wrong replay. Nice replay, mate. And it's back to me. Woohoo! Awesome. Thank you very much, producer. You are doing such an amazing job today. I'm just here chilling, and all of a sudden, I'm on the stream. And people are like, what? Subliminal messaging. What? Oh. Tense, tense times. It's pretty much all or nothing. While the Japanese know more room for mistakes. Entry frag here for Alex. And now they're pushing in towards the A site with two players. But the bomb's actually going towards the B site. Akioni, he can play big, but he won't be able to. He goes down to Moxie. And now the bomb's going to be planted. But finally, the CT is able to clean up the A site. And now concentrating, focusing on going towards the B site. I mean, at least he got that frag. Akioni before going down. At least it's now a two versus two. Impression. He's got his crosshair in the right position. Will he peek, though? There's the nade over at Van. Moxie's still alive. Impression sees. Impression gets the entry. Now it's up to Nopu in a one versus two. Gets the first frag. Him against Impression. He has to do it. Not a lot of time left. And Impression is playing it well. He's hiding. He's going to go for the defuse. And there's going to be a peek from Impression. He knows there's no more time. He tries to go for the wall bang. But there you have it. 16 to 12. Singapore will take it. Singapore will get three points. And they'll be second in Group B with four points after drawing with South Korea. Losing to Vietnam and beating Japan. And what a match. And uh, what great play from players like Nico and Impression. Really, really fantastic in Japan. They're going to be really angry after that. Um, what a match. What a match. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. That's it for